China's foreign ministry has accused a U.S. military vessel of entering its territorial waters. It says the ship sailed within 12 nautical miles of Scarborough Shoal in the South China Sea. China criticized the U.S. Navy for sailing a guided missile destroyer close to a disputed man-made islands in the South China Sea, adding to tensions between the two governments already strained over trade and North Korea. China's foreign and defense ministries, in separate statements Saturday, criticized the USS Hopper for encroaching on what Beijing regards as Chinese territory, saying the ship sailed within 12 nautical miles of Scarborough Shoal on Wednesday without permission. The Chinese frigate Yellow Mountain identified the U.S. vessel, warned it to leave and then drove it from the area, the defense ministry said. The U.S. ship's actions damaged Chinese sovereignty and security interests, Foreign Ministry spokesman Liu Kang said in a statement. He said China would take necessary action to safeguard Chinese territory. A spokeswoman for the U.S. Pacific Fleet declined to comment specifically on the USS Hopper, but said the U.S. conducts routine freedom of navigation operations designed to challenge excessive maritime claims. The spokeswoman said the operations are designed to comply with international law and not threaten the lawful security interest of coastal states. The island is known in Chinese as Wen Yan Tao. China effectively controls it, but it's also claimed by the Philippines and Taiwan. Ministry spokesman Liu Khan said in a statement on Saturday, the USS Hopper missile destroyer came within the area on Wednesday night without permission. Liu said the ship violated China's sovereignty and security interests. He said, China is strongly dissatisfied with that and will take necessary measures to firm, firmly safeguard its sovereignty. He urged the U.S. to correct its mistake and stop making what he called a provocative moves. Scarborough Shoal, which is also claimed by the Philippines, is a collection of rocks, sandbars and coral reefs roughly 120 nautical miles from the Philippines that sits near valuable fishing grounds and is a flashpoint for contesting claims. China seized control of Scarborough Shoal, also known as Wang Yan Island, from the Philippines in 2012, one of a series of maneuvers by Beijing to assert its control and sovereignty claims over the South China Sea. As a consequence, the U.S. military mounted periodic operations to sail or fly near the disputed areas to challenge what the U.S. sees as China's excessive claims in strategically and commercially vital seas. In 2016, the Philippines won an international arbitration case that effectively invalidated Chinese claims to all of the South China Sea. Beijing rejected the ruling, but also moved to cool tensions with Southeast Asian nations, seizing an opportunity after a new Philippine president, Rodrigo Duterte, said he would put the ruling aside to pursue better relations. The administration of U.S. President Donald Trump, while continuing military operations in the South China Sea, has shifted the focus with China to the trade imbalance and to enlisting Beijing's help in pressuring North Korea over its nuclear weapons. The specific purpose of the hopper's sail by this week wasn't clear. The destroyer entered the Asia-Pacific region, overseen by the U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet, on January 4, according to a Navy press release. China respects freedom of navigation in the South China Sea but rejects violations of its sovereignty in the name of freedom of navigation, the foreign ministry spokesman said. We strongly urge the U.S. to rectify its mistake immediately and cease this kind of provocation so as not to harm Sino-U.S. relations and regional peace and stability, the statement quoted him as saying.
other missiles on board that can conduct warfare and bring the fight to anybody uh, uh, below the sea, on the sea, in the air, in outer space, and even on land thousands of miles away. So you may